creative, think outside of the box, and they have this critical thinking, like nothing stops them. For any issue you have, they're gonna overcome them with the creative solutions. My name is Fahad Larbedli, I'm the head of program here at M7, and I'm a fashion designer too. My passion for fashion started when I was really young. My mom didn't have a department store or shopping malls and stuff like that, so the only way for her to uh, dress with the style that she sees in movies and especially like Mexican shows. All of us were obsessed with Mexican shows back in time. I remember she was sitting and sketching very quickly uh, every dress. She had her own uh, tailoring machine at home and uh, she buy the fabric from the store and then she make her own dresses. And I was really wondering like why she go through all this. And uh, she told me making those dresses, it actually make her own identity, like as a woman. So for me, it was important to study fashion and really develop my skills from a technical point of view. So I had to go through the backstage of how the fashion industry behaved from a fashion photography point of view, fashion weeks, uh, working with an atelier as a pattern maker, really helped me to push myself and uh, develop my professionalism. Establishing my brand, FAO, as the first menswear brand in Qatar was a challenge in 2014 because the ecosystem wasn't established. So everything I had to do, I have to do it by myself. And I did my first fashion show uh, without even have a label, even a logo. And then I grow organically and turn it to FAO brand, which is uh, my official menswear brand, established in 2019. The first collection was inspired by the National Museum patterns, so I used to take the patterns that are actually in the building, illustrate it and put it in the fabric, because I wanted something like unique, something like when someone wears it, they can reflect with our landscape here and culture. Men were really uh, positive and uh, the, they purchased my uh, collection. M7 is a correspond to the need of the creative industry here. We noticed there's a lot of creative, they have an amazing ideas, but to turn those ideas to businesses, they had uh, struggled in terms of putting the, their businesses in a business plan. So M7 uh, basically become a creative business incubation to support those ideas and commercialize them. Under M7 umbrella, we have the Cutting Studio, which is the fashion manufacturer to support designers in producing collection in a, a more caution, responsible way. Uh, we have Studio 7, our concept store that designated only for Arab designers that really looking forward to uh, expose themselves to the real market. We have the Learning Space, which is actually designated only to support uh, creative from pre-incubation, so they develop their soft skills time management, critical thinking, and stuff like that. And at the same time, we have uh, Scale 7, which is the fashion and design incubation center that gives through incubation and acceleration programs. I'm the owner of uh, Lova by Fadma brand. It's a very simple and simple way to use it for the daily use. We focus on the quality of the products and we focus on the fact that it's easier to use it. مستوحى من الكالتشر اللي قدر يومن تراثنا فبالنسبة للخطط والمشاريع المستقبلية طبعا نحرص على الانتشار والتواجد أكثر في السوق المحلي اللي قدر بالإضافة إلى ذلك نطمح إلى الوصول إلى السوق العالمي والمنافسة فيه بإذن الله نتحس أن احنا محتاجين دعم من هذه الناحية فكوني جزء من سكيل 7 الحمد لله حصلت الدعم من الناحية المادية وأيضا من ناحية التواجد والانتشار the incubation is a three-month uh, program uh, for businesses that have zero background in business to two years. And the acceleration is like from three years, someone operating for three years and above. I've launched Dana Riyadh, which is a fashion brand that designs luxury street style for modern women. I have taken a couple of programs with Scale 7. And one of our main focus is to go virtual and be part of the 3D fashion world. The metaverse is a big thing now and I have actually started to launch a 3D digital fashion brand. I do definitely feel that Scale 7 and the mentors uh, at Scale 7 have inspired me to think of the digital side of fashion because it's the future of fashion.
through Studio 7, we have around 41 brands that actually celebrate their creation. And then Scale 7, there is uh, around uh, 32 uh, businesses already supported part of the incubation and acceleration program. M7 is not only a building, it's an ecosystem. So what we did is basically we created uh, an environment that all those creatives can succeed. Now uh, I'm applying literally every struggle, every failed story, every uh, failed project that I did uh, back in time, I take it and I turn it to uh, an incubation system that I can support and give shortcut to designers that uh, learn from my mistakes and try to avoid them. The creative landscape is evolving because now we know who we are. We build a character for our produ creative production. So now it's time to export it.